If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to find out in just a second. For those of you who are here for the very first time, please uh, let us know you're here. I love the fact that we are getting so many people from all over the world. We've had people in the last week from Pakistan, the United Kingdom, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't have to say what's in your 2021 letter, but just at least let us know that you have written it. Because I'm focusing on, I was talking to... Uh, my friend Ray, and he is doing this series on how to achieve goals. And I realize that is so important to us because so many of us there, we all have things we want. We all have a Santa list, you know, which is our letter to the universe, things that we want. We all have things that we want. And so often we don't achieve them. People have asked me, I guess I am what is considered in many, in, 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 many circles, and I write about this in my book, in some ways, what is called an unconscious competent. In other words, I am able to accomplish things that people look and go, how in the world did you do that? And for me, it just seemed very, very natural. And I went back and deconstructed that. And that's a part and the the basis of what it is I'm teaching you now, so that you can achieve what you want in 2021. What I mean by that is that when I was 28 years old, I created a product that became the best-selling uh, product in Nordstrom's gift to go uh, uh, department uh, on the entire Northwest coast. That's California all the way up into Alaska even. And people, how in the world did you do that? And then I got the product into catalogs and, I, and then I created more and I, did all this stuff before I was even 30 years old. And then, of course, as you know, created this movement of 13 million people, got on Oprah, was the only author ever to secure Maya Angelou being able to, um, uh, giving me the right to use a forward in my book. How can you do these same kinds of things? And that's what I'm deconstructing in this series called Have a Great 2021. So just to remind you and bring you up to speed, and I'm asking you, have you written your 2021 letter? What is your 2021 letter? Your 2021 letter is you are writing it at the end of this year, not at the beginning, the end. And you need to write it. If you haven't written it, write it today. Hang up, write it now. <laughs> what you need to say is 2021 was the best year of my life because... 2021 was the best year of my life because I did this myself. It took me less than four minutes and I wrote in there everything from how harmonious my love relationship is to how much money my business makes to how healthy Teddy is. 2021 was the best year of my life, past tense, because, and then you write out why it was. You. This is called future journaling. I write about this, this in um, my book, Happy this year. It's called future journaling. You write in the future as if it's present tense. Took me less than five minutes and less than one sheet of paper. I invite you to do that. Then you go back and immediately circle one big thing, one really big thing that if this happens for you, you will have considered, yes, 2021 was the best year of my life. Okay. For me, I'm just going to tell you what mine is. It's my television show. I have been working on this and having so much fun. And here's what happens. All right. This is what happens when you set a goal and when you make it a part of your life. My lock screen on my phone. Let me see if I can get rid of a couple of these notifications that have popped up and show you just my lock screen. My lock screen has been pictures of Teddy, pictures of me and Teddy, inspirational quotes. You know how your phone has a lock screen that it shows you? Okay. So my screen has had pictures of me and my girlfriend. It's had pictures of places I want to go. Here's what it says now. The complaint-free movement reignites bigger than ever because by June 1st, I have a deal to create 
produce and star in a major network TV show with vast international distribution. The show will go on to be a number one hit and win seven Emmys. Simultaneously, I have a major book deal tied in with the TV show with contracts in the United States, China, the Czech Republic, and others. Those are just some of the places that my books have been bestsellers. Wow. Specific. Scary. Do I know how to do this? Absolutely not. So I began with the end in mind. What I did, and I talked about this before when I talked about how to write an international best-selling book, I designed my own cover. Does the publisher ever use that cover? No, of course not. I'm a terrible designer. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to design, but I do it to make it visceral in my own mind. I've created kind of like a bus ad. You know how you'll see those bus ads driving around with on buses and it'll say, watch this new show or something like that. I've created for my TV show a bus ad that looks like it. I have purchased the URL. I have begun to move towards it. So remember, as I said, the next thing you need to do is begin to take action, whether you feel like you're ready or not. Choose the big thing. By the way, I'm getting all of this from Think and Grow Rich, my friends. Every last bit of it I'm getting from Think and Grow Rich. Neville talks about it. James Allen. It's all been out there waiting for us. And if I'm the one who gets to be the messenger for you to make this change in your life, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. I won't let you down. I promise. You do your part. I'll do mine. So... You choose this one goal. You begin to take action on it. Oh, I didn't tell you my story. Here's my story. So I begin to take action on this TV show, right? Having no idea what I'm doing. And I get con I realize I was contacted by a former development executive at Disney, who's a big fan of the complaint free movement a long time ago. And she said she was very interested in just anything she could do to help me out. She's a wonderful person. And we had actually spoken, but I'd forgotten about it, totally forgot about it. So I've reconnected with her. That's one thing. But here's the big thing. So this, this, I post inside of a Facebook group for a guy named Benji Bruce, who trains speakers. I get a lot out of Benji's program, spent a lot of money, a couple of thousand dollars on uh, one of his programs and got way more out of it than I ever paid. So I, I posted in there something like, thanks, Benji. This guy sees me, looks me up and sees that I'm a big time speaker and goes, wow, uh, reaches out to me in a message. So would you recommend Benji's program? And I came back and said, yes. And as a matter of fact, I'm putting together a collaborative of speakers where we share leads and we become a mastermind group for one another, et cetera. But I'm only looking for people at a certain level. Um, and so I told him how much I charge and how many speak speeches I do. He came back to me. So we put each other in our calendars for a month later and we were going to connect. That connection was to take place last Saturday, day, a few days ago. Now I had completely forgotten who this guy was. I had completely forgotten why we were going to meet. I didn't put in my calendar and I got up and I thought, why in the world would I schedule a meeting on a Saturday morning? And I went back through our thread in Messenger and I was like, oh yeah, I remember this dude. So I look forward to talking to him. So we sat down, we started talking and he just landed a major network reality show. And over the next hour, he gave me a free masterclass in how to pitch a reality TV show. All because... I had decided that the one thing I really want this year is this television show by June 1st, which is if you can't put it on your lock screen, you're not serious about it. You need, and how did I do this? By the way, I typed it up in notes, pinched it out to expand it, shot a screenshot and then saved it, cropped the corners and uh, made it my desktop or my, my lock screen. If you don't know how to do that, there's a thousand nerds that'll teach you in 10 seconds on YouTube. So look it up. But if you need to 
put it, you need to put it on your lock screen. You need to be that serious about it because then all of a sudden the universe goes, we got a player here to quote Ed Wing Gaines. We got a player here and the universe goes, you want a TV show? Here's a masterclass in how to pitch a television show. I don't all of a sudden get the show. I still have to do the legwork. I still get to grow and develop and become. Wow. That just thrilled me to even say that. I still get to grow, develop, and become, but the universe is going to start giving me real, real help. And it will do the same for you once you have that level of specificity. Now, the final thing I want to share with you today, because I'm actually going to continue this series, I think for the rest of the week, is there's a few more things I want to share with you. But I want you to diminish your one goal. Here's what I mean by that. You've picked your one goal, right? Okay. Now, you know that I've been on the Oprah Winfrey show, and I'll probably kick that dog around and brag about that. It was 13 years ago. But how did I get on the Oprah Winfrey show? I put a picture of Oprah about to hug someone that was from the picture cover of Science of Mind magazine. Oprah's reaching out to hug someone, and I put it on a... Uh, board, vision board in front of me. And every day for about five minutes, that's all I would do. It was probably closer to 30 seconds or a minute and a half. I would stand there. I would sit there in my chair, which is almost identical to the one I have now. Look at the board and imagine that Oprah is reaching out to hug me. Now I had to do this for several months. Why? Number one, I couldn't imagine what it would feel like or what it would be like. So I had to put myself in that situation at first. I slowly began to believe it because I first put myself in the situation and it felt uncomfortable. I, I, why would Oprah be hugging me? What would I do? <gasps> I, when I was on the show, by the way, I saw a woman literally begin to hyperventilate and I thought they were going to have to call in the ambulance because Oprah started talking to her. So I was at first at that level of excitement. This woman in the audience was that excited. I was at that level of excitement. And over time, I got to the point where it was like, no, my sister Shonda is hugging me. It's just that natural, normal thing. It's not a big deal. So here's what you need to know. You need to visualize yourself doing this thing for one to five, five minutes a day, ideally when you're falling asleep at night. But visualize yourself doing it in three-dimensional detail until you diminish it to the point where it's completely natural. Again, think about it. I'm just going to use examples in my life. But if you want to write a book, right, um, uh, and you want to write a best-selling book, for you, that's like doing open-heart surgery. I can't imagine. I have a friend who's a brain surgeon, and he's been doing this for 30, 40 years now. He's about to retire. And he, every day, he goes in and by six o'clock, he's got his hand in somebody's head and he's in there usually 12 hours a day. And to me, just unbelievably difficult off the charts. And to him, it's nothing. To him, what's off the charts would be writing a best-selling book, getting and keeping one of the highest, the, the top agent in the world, getting books translated into multiple languages around the country. To me, that is a doable thing. You need to get to where it feels like a doable thing. Just like brain surgery is to my brain surgeon friend, chiropractic adjustment is to my chiropractic friend, or opening a new restaurant is to my friend who's a restaurant uh, entrepreneur. You need to get to where it's a, eh, it's a process, but it's not a big deal. And that's what I'm working on with my television show, because I have no idea what it's going to feel like fully, look like fully. I'm getting to where I know what it feels and looks like in my own mind. And that's when you become what is called an energetic match for what you desire. This is why the law of attraction works. This is why Neville and my friend Joe Vitale and so many people have talked about this and Wayne Dyer and Earl Nightingale and Bob Proctor and Will Bowen. 
for over the years, it you become an energetic match for it. And then you can't stop it from coming into your life. If you become an energetic match for losing 50 pounds, and that's your one big thing, and you're willing to commit this year to it, and you'll take five minutes a day to seeing what it looks like and feels like. I remember when I got in really, really beefed up muscle shape and everything like that. I had taken a picture of a guy who was in his fifties. He was doing a side pose, showing his triceps and I superimposed my face on top of it. And that was my home screen. Diminish your goal by putting it in front of your face all the time. Diminish your goal by feeling what it will feel like when it's yours. You cannot help but achieve it then. Let me take a look and see what some of your comments are. James says, have yet to write my letter. Must get on that today. James, if you don't, the next time I see you, I am going to pinch your tricep so hard. Anybody ever pinched your tricep? That's extremely painful. So if you don't write it today, I'm going to pinch your tricep next time I see you because it's amazing. Immediately after this, you'll need to run to the restroom or get a cup of coffee or have breakfast or blah, 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 blah. It will take you five minutes. You'll have it done by 8.30 this morning. Change your life. Heather says, yes, thank you for the suggestion. It has helped me to find a bit of direction the year. Great. You know, again, I did not come up with this. This was something that it was recommended by um, uh, Brian DeGraciosi. I think I'm pronouncing his na name correctly. Dominic and Juanita say, I realized as I wrote it that I was waiting for someone else to finalize something. I've been putting off doing things for myself. I started working on those while I am waiting. Awesome. Awesome. I have a friend who wrote a book 35, 40 years ago. It was a great book. He self-published it and um, it actually sell, sold fairly well, thousands of copies. However, he never wrote another one. You know why? His wife convinced him that the two of them needed to write a book together. So she always, she was one who would never get herself to write it, sit down and do it. And he never has written the book. Don't let somebody else give you an excuse not to do your big thing. Yes, I have written the letter. Kathy Cruz, who is with us today live and in Houston. Good to see you. Energetic Matt, says my friend James, who is busy writing the letter as we speak. This is so good. If you think this is good, click share now. Click share. Do me a favor. I do this for free every single day. Why? Because I want to change the consciousness of the world. I want to provide my A-game best information to help people improve their lives. And if you click share, you're letting your friends and family in on the game. So please do that. Can I watch this again after? I hope you will. Yes, this will be in the news feed. My news feed, of course, is www.facebook.com forward slash Will Bowen. However, you can, Trina, also, and you should, go to willbowen.com and click to receive the jump starts. We will email these to you every single day. Every day, your messages are so encouraging. Thank you, Will. Thank you so much, Natasha, and let us all know by please clicking share. Click share if you would. Remember, share is not just a headliner in broadcasting. I'm uh, in broadcasting. I'm reading one of my, my things here. In Las Vegas, and she's not just Sonny's ex-wife. Click share now. Let's spread the good word. Thanks, everybody. Be with me again tomorrow. We're going to talk one more time, maybe two, about how to continue to make sure that you actually achieve what it is you desire in the coming years. And yes, we are, because we're going to talk about a little bit more about changing your paradigms, because with all this done, you can still screw it all up. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it many times, but I'm going to tell you how to make it happen tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you then. All right, everybody, continue to post your comments. No more, no more complaining people, their lives are changing with high and high creating a complaint free world. No more, no more complaining people, their lives are changing with high and high.